What's up everybody? Um, I do have a good cooler update finally. Uh, like I said in my last video, I was hoping for the end of October, so I'm really cutting it close here. But uh, honestly, it would have been longer, but I have a friend who's throwing a huge Halloween party and uh, really wanted me to finish this thing up to use it. Um, I didn't finish it per se. Obviously, you can see there's no speakers. Um, I ordered, I went a different route. I, instead of getting the Polk DB691s, I'm a I uh, ordered a pair of kicker something or others, I can't remember off the top of my head, but they were about 20 bucks cheaper a pair, so that saved me 40 bucks. And uh, I mean, worst case, if I don't like them, I can obviously return them. So that's pretty sweet. Um, they were cheap, I got one day shipping, so they'll be here tomorrow. I'll definitely make a video once this thing's up and running, but basically all I did, it's nowhere near done but it functions now like the audio works I guess you could say um, what I got now going is the radio works you know obviously it will power the speakers I threw a couple fans in literally just threw them in there with some velcro and zip ties to you know keep it cool because this thing's gonna be cranked all night um, batteries obviously in there chargers hooked up um, I have the underglow hooked up this looks sweet. It's remote controlled and I gotta mount the little sensor because it's really hard to reach right now, but let me turn these lights off. So it just scrolls through colors. You know, I can change it to uh, all different colors. Blue, green, red, white. Um, you can make it flash. Maybe. <laughs> Come on, there it goes. Can make it quicker, obviously. Oops, hitting the wrong button. Um, I like the scroll. It just kind of goes through all the colors. You know, just like fades through them. But uh, aside from that, so like, yeah, you can see that's pretty sweet. It's a lot brighter when the camera's making it look. Um, the camera just focuses a lot, so it'll adjust all the color balances and stuff. But I mean, yeah, you can see that it's really bright in my living room. You can still see the light. But um, I also got this wired up, and I got the USB chargers wired up. The 12 volt socket. That's wired up. Um, none of the lights, like I showed you in the first video, none of that works. It's not actually sealed up yet to be used as a cooler. You see, none of that's hooked up. But um, these switches I got are junk. They're supposed to be LEDs, you know, little blue LEDs that light up, you know, when you turn it on. They're not LEDs, they are little. Let's see here, I just have one. Of them. story short they're not LEDs they're just really cheap little like incandescent bulbs they get really hot really fast and you know obviously I can just hook them up without using that right yeah sure but these switches are backwards this is on that's off that's on that's off that's on off on it's really stupid I mean Glad I only paid like five bucks for a pack of ten because they're uh, getting thrown out. But again, I'm making do with what I have right now. So as you can see, these two are the only ones I'm using. The left one is for the radio, the fans, and the voltmeter. And then the right one is simply just for the uh, outlets. So when you hit the left one on, you see the radio turns on, that voltmeter turns on, this turns on. I'll show you again. That glow, so that'll be pretty sweet at night too. Um, the blue, the blue you're seeing right here is the fan, which kind of that's a, that. Uh, I think that's sweet that that glows because I'm gonna put LED strips under this and make the whole thing glow. Um, what I got the radio going, 
obviously it, it's hooked up, but you know, again, I don't have speakers, so I can't do like a sound demo. Um, these uh, these outlets right here. This one has a little light on it. I'm gonna turn it on. I wish it only came on when it was like when you had something plugged in. That way, I wouldn't have to have these on a switch because that'll just slowly drain. But um. I still gotta get an antenna. It's only gonna work right now with Bluetooth or, uh, you know, an auxiliary cord cable, whatever. This lifts up. As you can see, it's just kind of a mess under here. I gotta figure out some kind of prop because this thing does not stay up with the weight of the radio. But uh, as you can see, the battery. I got a big fan right there to kind of keep the amp cool. The amp is down there. And then I got uh, one little fan right there to blow on the radio. The radio shouldn't get hot because the radio is only using the uh, RCA pre-out. So it's not even using the internal amp. But uh, I don't believe there's a way to turn that off. So it'll probably still be going. Because you can see there's the uh, speaker connections right there. Not in use. Um, the radio has like all kinds of USB ports and Bluetooth adapter. That's the charger. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a cable in the house or an extension cord to test that thing out and make sure it works. But uh, just in case you haven't watched the other videos, where the stock drain plug was is where I mounted the NOCO plug, which is really hard to see. I apologize, but uh, it's a male end of like a plug. So what I would do is I'd plug a, like an extension cord into the wall. And then the back of the extension cord just goes in there. And then that charger kicks on, charges the battery. I can use the cooler while it's charging. You know, I can use it. I can leave it plugged in. Like if I'm putting the thing away for a while, I can leave it plugged in and it'll just, you know, kind of be like a battery tender, keep the battery trickle charging. Um, pretty excited. So cannot wait to get these speakers in. I wish I had more time to finish it, but uh, unfortunately I don't. I will be finishing it though once I get the speakers. It'll be a lot of motivation to actually finish it because uh, a couple big differences. I guess let me turn this off because you'll probably hear the fans in the video. Big differences would be the fans are going to be on a digital controller, which is that thing right there, and that's going to control the fans. You know, turn them on and off, so I won't actually have to manually have a switch. That fan, that uh, controller monitors the temperature, and I set a temperature where it'll turn them on and then one to kick them off. Um, that little white box is a wireless switch, so I have like all the LEDs and all the lights all over it, you know, with a little, looks like a car remote, like for your, to unlock your car. Um, the fans won't be just sitting out there like that, they'll actually be like mounted in the wall. I'm probably going to put the big one in the bottom, cut a hole out so it'll suck in cool air from the bottom. Um, I'm thinking maybe one like in the corner and have... Some kind of like little vent or a grill on the side, so you can't really tell, but it'd be like the exhaust fan. Um, this screen right here, that's a uh, digital temperature readout, so I'll be able to see the temperature from out here. Um, of course, I got uh, more USB and foldable like, sockets or whatever. I've got uh, this one, when you open this little uh, easy access lid, turns on these two lights right here which will makes this bright as hell it lights up really bright so you can see you know beer drinks whatever and they turn on when that door opens from that little switch right there that magnetic switch i've got another one i'm trying to figure out where it'll work because when i just held it there with my fingers it worked great but when i actually screwed it down it was too far away that one controls this big strip that goes along the top that way like in the middle of the night you know if i if I'm using it and something goes wrong or you know anything like that, I can just pop the lid open and uh, that big strip lights up this whole thing. So, you know, like right now it's kind of hard to see in there. With that big strip on, it'll be bright as daylight. Um, that's really it. Uh, not really much else I'm adding that I can think of. I do got the bottle opener. Um, yeah, I can't really think of nothing else. I do want to add like some spotlights on it, like a, 
I showed you in some of the first videos, I actually ended up putting those on my car. So I'll get another pair of those, probably put them on the front, or maybe get two pairs, have them, you know, going like in every direction. But uh, yeah, definitely subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, yes, I know it's stupid, it's expensive, but it's awesome. I've got my little one, if you check out my other videos, I got a little 60-quart uh, cooler. This one's uh, 120 quarts, I think. Or no, this one might be 150 quarts. I don't remember, to be honest. It's been so long now since I've started this project. But, uh, I mean, that little one just turns heads everywhere. Anytime I bring it out in public or to a friend's house, I mean, my friend used it as, at his uh, wedding when they were walking down the aisle because they had an outdoor wedding. And, you know, the thing was awesome. Everybody loved it. So uh, that one doesn't even hold drinks or anything. This one is going to be, you know, half and half. You know, radio over here, drinks over there. Um, I will be able to have a, uh, in my lit, my next video will probably be, you know, with the speakers, you know, like a sound test. And then the video after that is going to be the final product. I'll make one once I'm all said and done, when I got the barrier in, everything sealed up, you know, everything tuned right, go with the, you know, if I change speakers, Everything's gonna be hooked up. So two more videos and this thing's gonna be done. Hopefully Hopefully within like two to three weeks. I'll be completely done But uh, honestly, I'm not really oh, Excuse me I've been at work all day. It's been a fun day. Um, honestly, I'm not really in a rush right now because it's literally the end of October. It's cold outside. So I'm not really gonna be using this thing because Everything's gonna be indoors for the next six months while it's ice cold outside, so Yep, I'm just making this video drag on for no reason Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it